If you begin to train in Western Long Boxing, you will be committed to connecting to the sword. The sword is an extension of cognition, an expression of vitality, a tool to evolve the heart-mind. Connection is a part of each of the gated changes the adept must negotiate to become an avatar and master the 10,000 things of heaven and earth. The ultimate connection is found in the ability to travel the far country. This is a coded term meaning that one has the ability to alter consciousness and sense of being enough to be aware of and negotiate through other planes of, of reality. These realities are called the astral, causal, mental, ethereal, and formless planes. It takes great courage, energy, and power of will to do these things. One has to refine and cultivate modal behavior to the extent that they are able to maintain a sense of self even after the physical body is incapable of sustaining life. The Tao of the Ten Gated Changes gives you the courage to face doubt and fear, the energy to recover from failure and despair, and the will to surrender intent so connection to the ten thousand things of heaven and earth is possible. When I first wrote my book, my, my first book, I didn't take into consideration some things. I stated that one cannot create a fighter. I was talking to or talking about the relationship between the trainer and the fighter. I explained in that book that fighters are born and not created. Well, in hindsight and with more experience, I realized I was wrong. There is a fighter of some degree in everyone, and martial science refines and cultivates the skill that allows for the inner fighter to reveal itself. What I did not understand, and what helped me understand, is a more intense study of sports psychology as it applied to my discipline. Sports psychology points out that it is the personality of the fighter that the martial arts trainer must consider when instructing the student, the fighter, to reveal the fighter, the fighter within. It is the competitive inclination that one can rarely create in a student who wants to become a fighter. But that being said, at its highest expression, martial science is a cooperative venture that uses competition to socially facilitate greater intensity of effort in fight training. Martial science becomes an art when it transforms the modal behavior of the fighter, of the student. The purposes of the transformation effort is to reach out and to try to form a fuller potential of thinking, doing, and feeling. It is about knowing self, being true to that knowledge, and treating others accordingly. It is about self-mastery, so the only competition for real is with oneself. In Western Long Boxing, this is done through the integration of Abduhama and Phenomenological Psychology. Western Long Boxing is a Taiji Bagwazan combative system employing armed and armed combat, but it is also a system that vigorously incorporates energetic medicine. The martial side of the house is best described as a spherically pugilistic internal alchemy of discipline that involves and invokes stilling and moving meditation. This part also includes the energetic medicine possibilities and disciplines within this system. <laughs> Simply put, it is, an inter this, it's a, it is an interdisciplinary practice and as such, it is a process of integration uh, which involves philosophy, doctrine, methods, and pedagogy, all of which can be combined when the scholar finds commonality of principle. Integration of method is the key to self-mastery in martial science. The journey to find the proper integration method is arduous, difficult, and complex. Elusive pugilism 
is about the fight from without. Pugilistic internal alchemy, or internal pugilism, is about the fight from within. Both fights, or battles, clear a path towards self-discovery and self-knowledge, all of which seem to come from the spiritual sages that reside in the heavens, but have not left their written wisdoms here on earth. It is said that the path of heaven is free from pain, and the path of earth is fraught with obstacles. The internal pugilist must become the fulcrum that keeps both paths in balance. He must become the vehicle or the bridge that brings that knowledge from the heavens down into the realm that he resides. All in all, everyone involved must become an adept at resolving the mysteries of their martial system. The internal pugilist is an adept who is not concerned with competitive ambitions. The only comp competition is with themselves because they know the duality that exists within is only the enemy that they must fight. In fact, it is the only enemy that they must fight and combat in the desire to perfect themselves. When the perspective of duality is abolished, they learn to backward engineer their very existence in order to harness the prenatal awareness, essence, energy, and vitality that lies dormant within and without. They now can become the medium that finds, maintains, creates, or restores harmony between heaven and earth. Change and fear become undefined terms as the adept embraces his or her own nature in order to transcend it. The martial and meditative methods that enable the adept to do this are cumulative in effect. The methods are guided by a simple wisdom. Internal skill is measured through external regimen. Upon this, all else depends. Accepting the wisdom, one finds that compassion, the ultimate gift of power, can only be possessed by first embracing suffering, grief, loss, and confusion. After this stage, the true nature of a person is revealed and the methods developed to know and clear any obstacles on the path. If one has read this far, if you have read this far, then you have learned methods to conquer fear of another human being's aggression. Now you must learn methods to gather your prenatal essence, which brings enlightenment, refine it into martial energy, which brings intrinsic power, and cultivate that energy into spiraling vitality, which enhances control over natural forces through stillness and motion. This is very, very important for the Western Long Boxer to understand. But really, there's always a, a feeling of, of, of quantifying something that one knows, a feeling that there must be a standard, there must be rules in order to find these great things within oneself. Well, that standard is the 10,000 time and repetition rule of training. This standard is a metric guide to achieving excellence in martial arts. The martial style is a variation of martial system. A martial system, in the Western sense of legitimacy and effectiveness, is based on trauma and preventive health medicines and health effectiveness, which supports applications in competitive and mortal combat. The elusive pugilistic part of Western Tai Chi Chuan has presented the combative aspects of the art. But this book will discuss how the art is defined as a martial science and an energetic medical system that integrates Vedic and Taoist alchemy into a Western interpretation of internal boxing.
literally roll back. 